The UK stock market is trending down right now, and there are lots of companies trading at really good prices. In this video, I'm going to talk about three FTSE 100 companies that I think everyone needs in their UK dividend stock portfolio. GSK is a global pharmaceutical company headquartered in the UK that operates in various segments, such as pharmaceuticals, vaccines, and consumer healthcare. In the last year, the stock price has gone up 5%, following the trend of the FTSE 100. But over the last month, we can see that it has come down 5%, roughly following the trend of the UK stock market. GSK can be quite cyclical. This is due to it relying on its new drugs and treatments to be successful, and the stock price fluctuates with the news surrounding these new drugs. GSK pay a healthy dividend, with the yield setting at around 4%, and based on their last dividend payment, you would receive about 14 pence per share per quarter. Check out the video I made going in depth into GSK to give you a better understanding of the company. I do hold GSK in my portfolio, sitting at around 12% of the portfolio. It's quite a big holding of mine and I don't expect to sell anytime soon. Unilever is a British consumer goods company that owns brands such as SIF, Comfort and Vaseline. The stock price has been pretty flat over the last year, but has taken a hit since May, seeing a 10% decline in the stock price since then. Again, this is following the general trend of the FTSE 100, but Unilever has not seen the same recovery that the rest of the market has. The stock price going down could be due to the recent change in the CEO that took place earlier this year. This change could prove to increase growth in the company, which is something the new CEO has outlined. Unilever is one of the most reliable dividend stocks in the UK. You will see this company in most UK-based stock portfolios due to its reliable brand name and its dividend. Its dividend yield is currently sitting at 3.8% and the company has paid dividends for nearly 100 years and it's only been cut a few times in that period. When I say cut, one of those times when it was cut was when they changed from bi-yearly dividends to quarterly dividends. And other times when it looks like it's been cut is actually the exchange rate between the euro and the pound. The dividend growth rate is about 10% per year over the last 50 years, but it's been coming down in recent times. Over the last 10 years it has been 7.6% and over the last 3 years it has only been 2.7%. If you hold Unilever stock, you would have received 37 pence per share in the last quarter. I do hold Unilever stock in my portfolio. It is sitting at about 5% of the portfolio and due to the price coming down recently, I've been adding more to the position. Since the last time I bought Unilever stock was in January and the stock price is finally coming below my average price per share. The third company I think everyone should have in their UK dividend stock portfolio is Rio Tinto. Rio Tinto is a British Australian multinational mining company that is the world's second largest metals and mining corporation. The stock price has come down 15% since the start of the year, quite a bit below the FTSE 100, but is still up 5% in the last 12 months. China has had a massive impact on the investor sentiment of this company over the last year, due to the downturn in China's economy since the pandemic, due to the fact that China is a major consumer of the metals that Rio Tinto produces. Although China is expected to recover due to their economy boosting measures, Rio Tinto stock price has yet to recover to their January highs. I believe that Rio Tinto will be a big player in the next decade due to the rise in demand for metals used in green technologies and the rise in urbanizations in emerging markets like the sale of consumer electronics and infrastructure. Rio Tinto's dividend yield is currently sitting at 6.5% and if you owned Rio Tinto stock then you would have received £3.23 in the last year. I do not hold any Rio Tinto stock in my portfolio but I'll be buying some to increase the diversity of the portfolio and to finally own a mine company. I hope this video has been helpful to anyone looking to buy UK dividend paying stocks. If you have any other stocks that you think everyone needs in their portfolio, then leave a comment below and I'll give you a reply. Also, you can check out the investment dashboard that I use to track my portfolio down in the description below, where you can download it for free and get access to my portfolio so you can see how I'm doing. This gets updated monthly when I reveal my dividend income for the month.